Hey guys, this is a special episode covering the three-day Asia-Pacific Spectrum Management Conference. Don't forget to check out the Day 1 Recap. But for now, let's get cracking with Day 2. Hey, bye. <laughs> So, how much mid-band spectrum do we really need for 5G? Coliago Consulting actually did a study of several cities in Europe that showed to meet the 100 megabits per second downlink and 50 megabits per second uplink speeds IMT 2020 defines for 5G, we need an additional 1 to 2 gigahertz of mid-band spectrum in the 2025 to 2030 timeframe. A similar study in Asia Pacific that included Bangkok, Jakarta, Ho Chi Minh City, Beijing, Yangon, and Hong Kong showed similar needs. In Asia, countries with low fiber penetration, 5G fixed wireless access with that extra 1 to 2 gigahertz of midband spectrum could bring broadband connectivity to rural towns and villages much faster and at a lower cost than fiber. If we care about the unconnected, and we do, this would bridge the urban-rural digital divide and provide everybody with equal rights to broadband services. But you know, it's not only 5G floating around out there. Safeguards need to be in place to ensure other services like satellite, already working in mid-band between 3.3 to 5 gigahertz, are protected from interference. The leader of Spectrum and Policy Research Group from China Unicom, the operator who owns the global harmonized C-band in China, showed how China has successfully tackled the coexistence of 5G and satellite by publishing and enforcing protection measures that allow 5G to reach its full potential. Wrapping up the day, the ITU's own representative for IMT discussed the importance of 6 GHz for our digital future. This guy is important because he collectively speaks for global mobile vendors and operators. Basically, C-Band will run out of steam long before our insatiable need for binge-watching Netflix does. 6 GHz with some enhancements to base station architectures and device capabilities, can provide similar coverage to C-band and offers enough additional mid-band spectrum to meet our digital needs for the future. It's therefore imperative that we put the discussion of 6 gigahertz on the table to ensure sustainable mobile evolution in the long term. Powerful words for a positive future. That's it for this day two recap of the Asia Pacific Spectrum Management Conference. Make sure you keep your eye open for the final day three recap. Thanks for watching. Powerful world. Ah. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yeah.